What's going on, guys? This is Will Fullman from your um, home DIY business or Dapper Clean headquarters. As I said, work is in. I got some orders done over here. This one just came in. Those will be hanging for tomorrow. I still got some stuff, uh, laundry orders come in, stuff to take to work. But I have a question for, you know, the people who watch my channel. It's about time in the comments section. I want to hear about your business now. I want to hear what you're doing in the laundry business. Has my videos helped you? I really want to hear it because I've been doing this long enough where I know this is, um, this information is good information. Um, I can remember a time when I started this and didn't know everything and I still don't. But the one thing I know is I don't mind giving the information out for people. Now, when this pandemic happened, I already had this hustle going on already done with that for the night because I got to get some sleep but I would like to hear from you in the comment section what type of business you did in the laundry business or are you still doing it and how did my videos help you and even if my videos didn't help you I want to hear from some of the other fellow iron men and women out there who are actually ironing and making money from this so when you get a few minutes, you look at my video, put down there, man, I do this, I do that. Uh, your video helped this or this or that. It doesn't have to be special. It's just I want to see, you know, what this is going to do because I'm actually moving to a new part of my series where I'm just going to just kind of do a little talk thing for maybe four or five episodes because that's what I do. I make stuff just for kind of a hobby. So as I say before, adjust your hustle and bet on you and let me know what you do in the comment section down here. I'd love to hear from some of you guys later. So let's hope that stays up there for a minute. What's going on, guys? This is Will from, from your home ironing business or the Dapper Cloth Care um, headquarters. So earlier in another video, I said I want to see what people are doing. And I hope that you guys are out here making some money because I am. Um, I wasn't even going to work on this stuff because I had a sinus infection I wasn't going to work on nothing so I got up and the best thing you could do is you can start working and uh, I didn't think that I was going to but I got a room full of stuff and I said I need to get in here and I need to start doing it so I started on it and I haven't stopped and I'm going to finish it for before the night's up because I think it's only like 8 or maybe going on 9 o'clock now what I want to talk about very simple thing there are going to be days, man, you're going to be so tired. You ain't going to know what to do with yourself. And I had a sinus infection. I've been sick for the week. And it's like, it's, how can I say it? It's nice outside. And man, when you see that film on your car, oh my God, it is just terrible. And, but as soon as you get up and you start working, man, it's like, I'm square. Like tomorrow, I got to run the show tomorrow by myself till like 2 o'clock. I'm helping a friend because he's got a baby coming. And, and man, I'm, I'm excited for him because uh, this is second kid. And, and I'm gonna, I always remember, you know, when I worked with him, his kid was born on this day, uh, which is tomorrow. So uh, I got up and started working. And I got one customer come in I haven't seen since December. And he brought me a bag about like that big. He was like, that's it? He said, well, that's a lot of stuff. I said, you know how I am. I'll get it done. And even though I don't feel good, when I get up and start ironing, it just, for some reason, it just makes me feel better. You know, working makes you feel better. Sitting down and laying down, nose all stopped up, I didn't feel like doing that. So, I, I said I was only going to press just a couple items, and next thing you know, I did everything in this bad boy. So, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I did today. And I was like, you, you never know how far you can go until you start pushing yourself. So let's turn it here. The lights on there. So I got all. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I got all those orders. That those orders done. I got this order done. Uh, got to finish those pants over there. And I got this here. But this is a bunch of stuff I had hanging, and I, I wanted to get it done. I'm sorry. Do I got it where you can see it? I need to get better camera stuff. But for right now, I ain't too worried about it. I love this room. Um, somebody might think it's cluttered, but it's not. Once. All this stuff is down and put down and put away. Uh, I have lots of space. It's just, this is my office. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it greatly. So, once again, I told you I was going to do a couple videos. I think I might do one on my pants press so you can see it. Because I did not do it 
or show you it. And I need to find out what length press this is. But I pressed the pants already. And when I get them on the big press, I'll let you see what they look like. That giant press, that family press, man, if you can get your hands on one of those, those things are worth their weight in gold. You always hear me say that. They're worth their weight in gold because, man, I can make a pair of jeans look like they fresh. I'm like, I love this thing. And through the years of working and doing this, I'm just good at what I do. Um, I, I'm good at what I do. I, I love it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to do some more ironing, and I'll show you the big press in just a moment. All right, guys? Later. I mean, so I don't know if I would, uh, I don't know if I would do that. Not at this point. Uh, maybe a little longer, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little longer, but not yet. Not yet. So what is, so I'm just trying to, when is Jasmine about to get a, she's about to get a furniture? I'm sorry, we're talking about stuff. Yeah, she, yeah. um. I'm just, uh, I'm recording me pressing, but I want her to get her furniture so I can go over and watch TV and cook over there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this Friday. I probably won't. Because uh, I can't, I, I probably sit at this cold, so, yeah. or sinus infection. Because I think I work on Saturday as well. Oh, okay. Because uh, Jason will take Saturday off uh, home, I guess, with the baby uh, or whatnot. So, I hope somebody's watching. So I'm just... Doing some pants, showing people um, how to do pants at home. I love doing clothes at home. Did you show them, did you tell me that's your white shirt on? Your white shirt? Are you that egotistical right now? I'm not no, you're not, Jan. You're doing that. You're real. You really are egotistical. I'm just here. Come over so I can iron your face. No. Oh, they're about to be good. What you do? Yeah, so like I was saying, um, you can get away with doing pants at home. These irons work their weight in gold. Um, I'm going to probably look for another one uh, soon. Sometimes I see them pop up on uh, eBay, and uh, if I have the money, I'll buy them. But I've seen a couple of them up, and they uh, they were already gone. But there are lots of, uh, lots of different irons that you can find out there. I... I just have a thing for ironing, man. I don't know why. Like I said, um, I really believe in the whole concept of uh, uh, chaos into perfection. And over again, you do it again. Take a shirt and take care of it. Uh, I believe in customer service. That's another thing. Um, I think I'll share this with you. I had a pair of pants. A pair of burgundy pants. These burgundy pants, I read them in a bleeder cycle to somebody, and they got ruined. Now, I have no idea if you are, whoever's watching these videos or, you know, know what to do if you mess up someone's clothes. I want to give you a bit of advice. Make sure that you have a good rapport with your customers. Uh, this guy, his pants got messed up, and it wasn't my fault. What happened was they bled. Uh, they were a pair of burgundy pants, and they just, they had something happen to them with some color balls. But, because they were in my possession, it became my responsibility. So I called him up and I said, hey man, you know, I said, your pants, they bled on themselves. It wasn't my fault, but because I had your pants, it's my responsibility. So I asked him, what can I do to make you happy? Because uh, again, I really, I, I, I cherish my customers. I don't care what nobody say. You have to, you have to cherish the people who come to you because you're doing a quality service for them. And you want to make sure that they're getting that quality service, you know, at all times. So I had told him. I said, what can we do? I said, I looked the pants up, and uh, this is what they cost. You want me to see if I can get another pair? Uh, you want me to pay half? Can I give you some free dry cleaning? And that's one of my, my main points in um, dealing with this business is know your clothes. The first thing I did is I got right on, um, on eBay and looked up what the pants cost used and what the pants cost new. Now, a lot of times... What happens when there's a miscommunication, this is when you get into an argument with someone. Usually there's no miscommunication. I've gotten into an argument. Don't think I haven't. And once I got done with him, he said, well, you know what? I'll tell you what. How about I throw an extra few pieces in there a couple times, you know, from the load that he gives me, and he gets those for free. And he agreed. He, and I said, you sure that's cool? He said, yes. Um, I've had incidents where I've done people's clothes, and they got mad. Like one guy, he just he yelled at me. I was looking at him like... 
Dude, these are just clothes, but that's my opinion. It's just clothes. If anything happens to them, we can always work a deal out some way, somehow, to make these clothes, you know, to do something. And he yelled at me about something, and later on he found it. And they called me back. But I had to, this is one person, I know I, in one breath I said cherish your customers, but the next breath I had to let this guy go. And that was an unfortunate thing because he just kept arguing, fussing, and fighting. I said, dude, I'm not going to argue and fuss and fight with you every time, you know, you can't find something and he found it. That was like the one customer. You always going to have that one customer. And you try to work your best deals out with them. And you try to work what you can with them and then leave it, leave it at that. But um, know your clothes. You know, know what you can do with them. Uh, I have steam irons, dry irons, regular irons. And my wife bought me an iron. Where is it at? She bought me an iron. I just bust out laughing. I don't know why she bought me an iron. I was like, why'd you buy me an iron? She was like, you never say I never buy anything. I was like... All right, Dan. All right, guys. Well, look here. I'm going to get my other uh, pants press set up, and I'll show you what I'll do with that one. All right, guys. What's going on? I told you I wanted to show you the big press. Okay. So this one itself, this one is probably about, let me see if I can get the measurement right first. Hold on. This big press here, which some people, they'll say it's not big, but for home, it's big. It's actually, uh, let me see. 35 inches long. Can you see that? It's like, it's like you can't barely see it, but it's 35 inches long. So this thing is actually pretty decent. Um, this is one of the things my daughter bought me this. You know, my daughter wants to buy me something. She'll buy me for buy something. And this thing has made his money back. But this thing I love to use on jeans simply because the heat, the press, the, you know, the, the, the pressure on it is, is perfect. Uh, you could do, um, if it, if it, uh, my thing will, let me see. My phone has been acting up because I don't use a camera anymore. Look at that. I don't know why it's not focusing, but you can do a nylon, silk, wool, cotton, linen, but I always leave cotton. And uh, this thing always helps me out. So I'm going to set a pair of pants up and show you the next thing. All right, so done. There they are. These, it gives it that last smooth, I mean, Excuse me. I really like this because it gives the presentation to the jeans really well. Now, let me share something else with you. I've probably shared it before, but I'll say it again. It took me a while to find a good starch. Now, I don't know if I have one out here. There's a starch I was using. It's a Niagara in a white bottle. That stuff is good, but let me show you what the gold is. This right here is the gold. Stay flow. I can put this stuff in a bottle and not, not even dilute it. Yeah, that's what I mean. You put it right in a bottle, find you any type of bottle, put it in a bottle, and you don't even have to dilute it. You, you, you do your pants, then you hang them up, and let them dry overnight, and hit this with some Stay Flow. When you hit it with Stay Flow, a nice mist, it gives jeans that nice, because some of my customers like their jeans to be a little more stiffer. And let me tell you, this is not too stiff. It's not burning them. It's not leaving the, the, you know, like the sheen on them. It does perfect. I love this stuff because look how them pants look. They look great. And also, here's something else that I, I, I think I've shared this before. One thing in the dry cleaning business, you have these things they call horses or, you know, uh, pants racks. This is a comforter rack. I have two of these. So what I do is I actually use these for my pants. I have one over here and one here. So when I have my pants, the ones I'm about to do, I put all my pants over this at each load. And then when I get done pressing them, I'll put them on that one, and then I'll press them on here. Now, to some, that might seem as though I'm doing too much work. But for me, it's presentation. I love it. I can iron the pants, but man, when you put that on there, brings them to life. So I hope this helps someone once again. And I said in, uh, earlier in the video, leave me some, um, leave me some stuff that you've done. Let me see what you have done, uh, whatever. Hey, boy. That's my grandson. What you got? Say hello, everyone. Hello. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, that's his train. But uh, how are you just going to come in here and fart? Oh, come on, man. You, just, you did that on camera. You terrible. All right. So, oh, and it smells, too. He's terrible. Uh, if...
you know you have any questions or comments, leave them for me. I'm sorry the videos be grainy and just raw. I don't, I mean, my presentation videos is kind of like, I might be doing something and I'll just turn it on and start, you know, start filming. And that's what I do. So um, I'm done. I am done. Got all that done. That stuff is hanging back there to get finished tomorrow. And this is done. And this is done. So it's like, oh, he smells. Order, 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 order. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Like I always tell you, adjust your hustle and bet on you. And let me show you something would have happened. Look at that thing. An Epson Exceed Your Vision Workforce WF3820. I got that for my birthday from my friends. I was like, yeah, I didn't have to do that. They bought that thing brand new, man. I'll tell you one thing, man. Having good friends, man, is some of the most amazing things in the world to have. My wife bought me toolboxes, but that, all this stuff surprises me, man. All right, guys, I am out of here. I got to, um, I got to get some rest. Adjust your hustle. Bet on you. If you see one of these presses out there, this is a great investment. A great investment. Don't let it sleep. And one other thing about these presses, I tell people, don't close them when they're hot. Let these things sit and cool, then close them because you'll eat your pad up. Your pad will get go bad real quick. You'll have this on here for years to come if you just let the heat, you know, cool off and then close it. All right, guys. Later.